video I am back and I am going to be doing my updated makeup collection for 2017. This is the last makeup collection I'm going to be doing in 2017. It has been super super requested. Everybody's like you've got so much more makeup now. Please can you do an updated one and I'm like you know what I am going to do an updated one because I've changed all my drawers around and this one is going to show you all my other beauty products such as my eyelashes, face masks, stuff basically everything. You guys are getting a full tour of my Alex Nine drawers, which is something I've never actually done before. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that I actually daily vlog. I don't know if you guys know that. Maybe if you've been keeping up with all of my videos, then you do. But I actually daily vlog, so that's really exciting. Link will be on screen to my latest one and in the description box down below, so you should definitely go check out my vlogs. I love vlogging for you guys. It's so amazing, and I get to vlog my daily life, so you get to meet my family more, you get to share experiences with me. It's so much fun, so you should definitely go subscribe to my vlogging channel but yeah other than that I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started we're gonna start it off where all my makeup collections start off and that is on top of my Alex drawers so this never really changes I've just got my Ikea skewer pot Ikea candlestick and then Ikea skewer plate in that I've just got some flowers some lipsticks then on top of that I've got my bath and body works maple cinnamon pancakes candle which by the way is absolutely incredible and then just over there next to the plant pot I have my Gucci Bloom perfume this is my absolute favorite perfume not only does it smell amazing but the bottle is beautiful we then open the first drawer to find that this is my face drawer so we're going to start with all of the foundations over here so first of all I just have the L'Oreal True Match I've got two of these in two different shades Maybelline Fit Me the Body Shop Matte Clay Foundation the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect, which is amazing. I rarely talk about this, but it's really good. The MAC Pro Longwear, which is my everyday mixed with the L'Oreal True Match. And then Too Faced Born This Way, and then the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I used to have a lot more, but I decluttered them, so I've basically only got ones that I genuinely am going to use. Moving on down here, I then have a compartment for all of my concealers. So first of all, I have two concealer palettes. I've got the NYX one, which as you can see is very very well used and then I've got this MAC one which I haven't actually used yet this is going to be in like a first impressions video or something like that soon so keep an eye out for that then we have all of my other concealers down here so as you guys can see I've got some color correcting ones I've got the naked skin ones and then I've got the collection last imperfection color correcting one then I've got the last imperfection normal concealers because they are amazing underneath that I've got two more color correcting ones a purple one and a yellow one then I've got my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer which is absolutely incredible. I love that. And I've worked out a trick to not get so much out at one time so it's really good. Then I've got my Kat Von D Concealer which is nearly running out. Got my Maybelline instant anti-age rewind i've got my tart shape tape which i managed to get off of qvc which was the best delivery of my life then i've got my nars one and then finally down here i have got a la girl one which is really good but i just don't really use that often and then i've got the little collection primer Back here is all of my primers. So as you guys can see, I've got quite a few Benefit ones. So I've got the Benefit Professional Matte Gel. I've got a ton of the Professionals. I've got my favourite primer ever, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish in the green one. As you guys can see back there, I've got the original as well. But I love the green one so much. Then I've also got my Too Faced Hangover Primer, which is amazing. And the Benefit like Blotting Stick. Then back here, I've got my MAC Oil Control Lotion, which I use every single day and then I've got two of the MAC Fix Pluses and then right at the back I have a collection concealer palette but this is actually believe it or not my foundation and concealer drawer decluttered I decluttered it a lot so these are only products that I genuinely do use all the time and each of these products have been used minus this one so yes this is my first drawer Moving on into my second drawer, this is where I keep my powders, blushes, highlights and bronzers. Over here I've got my Ofra highlights, I've got a Tarte blush, Milani blushes, Too Faced blushes, I've got the Maybelline Brick Bronzer, the Collection Concealer, not Concealer Palette, Blush Bronzer and Highlighter Palette, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Blush Palette. Down here I've then got four mini Benefit things, I love these so much, I've got Benny Tint, Posy Tint, Lolly Tint and High Beam. Then I've got 
the Benefit What's Up, the Benefit Porefessional Pore Minimizing Makeup, and then the Benefit Powder. Can you guys tell that I love Benefit and Too Faced? I have a lot of their products. Back here, I've then got the Benefit uh, Contour Stick and the Liquid Contour Becca Champagne Pop, which is actually completely smashed, so I'm gutted. Then I've got two blush palettes. Actually, no, that's a highlighter palette. This is a blush palette. They're both from Sleek. This is amazing, though. Then I've got the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush, and then I've got this blush, which is Max Desert Rose, and this is my all-time favourite blush. If I was going to wear a blush every day, which I occasionally start to do now, it is 100% this one. Down here, I then have all of my Benefit products, minus this one, which is the NARS Blush in Orgasm. If I can quickly open this for you guys, this is an amazing blush as well. It's so beautiful. I've got Benefit California. I've got the Hula Bronzer, number 10, Rocketeur, Sugar Bomb, what is this one? Is this Oh, this is the new Dandelion Highlighter, and this one actually has my name on it, which is amazing. And then I've got a mini Hula Bronzer, which also has my initials on it. They are literally some of my favourite ever products, because they have my name on it. Then I've got the Ciate London Highlighter, which is really good as well. You guys are going to see how beautiful this is. It is literally incredible. It's very white toned, so I wouldn't use it all the time, but it's really good when I do use it. Then down here, I've got my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and then moving to the back of my drawer, I have Lancome's new Cushion Highlight. I spoke about this in a vlog. It's really hard to open, but oh, there you go. You basically open it up like this and then take this off and it's basically like a foundation-y cushion liquid highlight it's really really cool i probably should use it more to be fair but if you guys would like a first impressions on this do let me know then back here i've got my mac soft and gentle and my rimmel stay matte powder this is beautiful i love this so much i use this nearly every day as well then like i said back here i've basically got a ton of palettes so i've got my soap x makeup revolution highlighting palette which is my everyday highlight in palette literally in my last god knows how many instagram posts this is what i'm wearing it's actually incredible this shade well basically all these three shades are my favorite and this shade as well i love it then back here i've got my anastasia contour kit underneath that i've got a glow kit i've got the nip and fab highlighting palette i've got quite a few different highlighter palettes and then i've got this Too faced beauty wishes and sweet kisses tin which is also amazing i love this so much i also have the laura geller baked gelato swirl illuminator palette beauty base sent me this and it's absolutely gorgeous and that kind of makes up the majority of this drawer i have quite a lot of highlighters so i don't really need to buy any more to be honest but yeah love this drawer so much then moving on to my third drawer down this is where i keep my mascaras my loose glitters eyeliners mascaras i think i said mascaras already but everything like that so first of all over here i have all of my eyeliners and glitter glues and primers so i've got the Master Precise Eyeliner from Maybelline. I've got the Benefits Their Real Eyeliner. 17 Make Your Mark, which is amazing. Then, as you can see, I've got two of the Too Faced Glitter Glues. This is the best glitter glue you're ever going to buy, honestly. Then, I've got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, which is my favourite eyeshadow primer. We've got Duo Lash Glue, which is definitely my favourite lash glue. Then, when I don't feel like using the Too Faced one, I have a NYX Glitter Primer got some benefit brow products you've got the gimme brow the high brow then we've got some nyx jumbo eye pencils in about every shade there is going because i love those so much then i've just got some more lash glue got the revlon one but this is literally completely worn down then we've got some more benefit products the cabrow just another gimme brow yeah another gimme brow and then we've got another brow setting gel there then we've got the collection glam crystals and these are so beautiful i wish i suited silver more but i want to get some of these in gold that's basically everything in the first compartment and then in the second compartment i keep all of my glitters so i do have my brow product in here which is the anastasia beverly hills dip brow but then other than that all these are loose eyeshadows and glitters so i've got two color pop eyeshadows which are really good then i've got some glitter so this one is from new look this is from ebay i think that was from ebay i've got the nyx glitter towel which i love i've got some mac pigments this one is my favorite but this one is super super pretty for like 
dress up stuff and everything like that got the la splash glitters which actually are my favorite some more new look ones then i've got a gypsy shrine one which i really like and then we've got some wet and wild ones these are like compact glitters which i got when i was in america then i have a mac paint pot in painterly which i should use more often so i'm not that keen on that one but should probably use it then i have one of my favorite ever compartments which is my mascara so if you guys have been following me for a long time you will know that the lash sensational is my ultimate favorite mascara it's eight pounds from the drugstore i literally could rave on about this forever then i've got my l'oreal miss baby roll which i actually really like for my bottom eyelashes i've got the maybelline faux sills push up angel then i've got Too faced better than sex which is really good i haven't used that in a long time got a another one of these the falsies push up drama this mascara from mac is called bad lash but no bold and bad lash it's completely ran out because i loved it so much then i've got the black version of the lash sensational the new urban decay troublemaker mascara which is amazing got one from lancome some benefit ones some more l'oreal ones then i have actually been using this quite a lot recently this is the Maybelline the big colossal shot and then finally I've got benefit roller lash I don't really never wear mascara like I feel like mascara kind of makes my makeup look it, is that just me it just looks so much better but this mascara the black one and the mac one are definitely my favorites although i do love this one as well then at the back of the drawer i just have some palettes that i couldn't fit in my palette drawer so if i can get it out i've got the urban decay ultimate basics palette which is amazing i don't think i raved on about this enough to you guys but it's so good it's filled full of beautiful matte colors and then back here i have my z palette which has some makeup geek eyeshadows in which again Again, definitely didn't rave on about oh I can feel another palette underneath what on earth is this one I also have my Tartlet in bloom palette which again is incredible they're bringing out another one of these and I haven't used this in so long actually but this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes ever that is it for the palettes in this drawer so now we're going to move on to my next palette drawer which is full of all of my other ones so here is my palette drawer on top here I've got my violet Voss pro eyeshadow palette if you guys have seen me do like orangey makeup looks I can guarantee you that it's from this palette right here how gorgeous is this this is showing up a lot more pinky on camera but it's this gorgeous whiny red and it's just amazing violet voss eyeshadows are a crazy formula i love them then i've got my naked palettes i've got naked three and naked two and naked smoky and then down the side here i've got my naked heat urban decay naked palette is just like a classic for every single makeup collection over here i've got my two naked basics palette i've got the naked basics one and the naked basics two naked basics one is definitely my favorite i actually really like to keep this as a compact in my uh, bag then i've got the wet and wild ever so famous walking on eggshells palette do you guys remember like if you're proper ogs when everybody used to rave over this and then i managed to buy it in america i think it was like three or four dollars and it was the best thing i ever bought i then have this little mac duo here which is really cute don't really get much use out of it but i do really like the colors then i've got again one of my all-time favorite palettes this is the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance if i can get this open to show you guys pretty sure you would have all seen it already because it's genuinely one of the most raved about palettes but it's so beautiful every single shade in here i get use out of then I've got the Too Faced chocolate bar, so I've got the semi-sweet and the normal one. And then back here, I've basically just got a ton of eyeshadows that are very, very colourful, so I don't really get to use that often. But I've got the Alice in Wonderland palette, I've got the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, and then I've got my Morphe palette, which actually I haven't used in a long time because I really want the Morphe 35O. And oh, I have another one. This is Sweet as Candy from Wet n Wild. Again, that was another one that people absolutely raved about please tell me you guys remember that and it wasn't just me because i don't even think i used it that often when i got it but so so good out of all of these i would definitely say my favorite is either the violet voss or the anastasia beverly hills one or even the naked basics because it's such a nice pretty basic palette to have it also has a really decent sized mirror as well and some people used to say they use uh, this shade to fill in their eyebrows so that's different but i really like this palette we are now venturing in to what is one of the most full packed drawers in my whole makeup collection and this is my lip drawer so you might think oh yeah the top layer is it um no so let's just lift this off and see what's underneath 
So underneath I basically have a lipstick shop. I have about every single shade there is of the NYX ones as you guys can see but we're going to go in order. So down here I've got the Maybelline Roxaurus collab. I've got a ton of Urban Decay lipsticks. These are the Gwen Stefani ones and these are the vintage ones and then I've got down here the Alice and Wonderland ones. These are some of my favourite packaging and then I've got a YSL one, Posy Balm. I've got some of the Too Faced Melted Latexes. I don't really get as much use out of these as I would like because that these colours aren't really me but I still wanted to keep them because they were very expensive. As you guys can see I have literally every single shade there is of the NYX lingerie lipsticks. These were kindly gifted to me when I went on a two day spa trip to Toot and Glen with NYX to launch their Christmas range. They gave me all the NYX lingeries and all of the NYX liquid suede and I think if I pull the drawer out a little bit more which I don't exactly want to do because it's probably going to fall out I have all shades back there as well and another row. I also have some Lime Crime lipsticks back here again but to be honest I don't really get much use out of those. These shades however I get so much use out of and these liquid suede are amazing as well. I hadn't tried these before they gifted them to me. I tried the lingerie ones but not the liquid suede and they are just honestly incredible. Now moving on to the top layer of my lipsticks I have all of my everyday ones that I genuinely do use and love. So these are all kind of my dark colours so I've got Kylie Jenner ones, I've got Too Faced Melted ones, this is a really nice one, this is the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in Rapture, really really like that. I've got some Gerard Cosmetics, I've got Colourpop, Colourpop Viper is probably my most used red ever, I really need to do another Colourpop order because I cannot even tell you guys how amazing these are. Uh, yeah I've got a ton of the Gerard Cosmetic ones, I've got some more mini Colourpop ones, some Too Faced Melted ones, just oh and this one's really nice i want to say this is called poison but it might yes it is called poison anastasia beverly hills in poison it's near enough black like my nails are black and this looks purple but when you put it on your lips it comes out like nearly black and it's so beautiful in the middle section i have my nudes which is probably my most worn color ever so i've recently gotten this one this is the oh this is even a nude this is meant to be in here but it's a huda beauty one i have got another huda beauty one though and it's this one here this is in the shade Medusa and it's a really nice purple toned nude. Then I've got my Colourpop ones again Trap and Midi which are these two are some of my favourite ever shades. I love them and my most worn lipstick ever is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Child Star. This is the best thing I've ever bought. Then I've got some Kylie Jenner ones, I've got some more Colourpop ones, got quite a few Kylie Jenner ones actually, I didn't realise how many I had. Then I've got some Anastasia Beverly Hills and in Milkshake is amazing, Gerard Cosmetics, got the Melted Latex Clear Lip Gloss. Then what else do we have in here? We've got another Colourpop one, this is the Amanda Steele X Colourpop Satin Lip. And yeah, I just love nude lipsticks. They're my absolute favourite shade. But like I said, Colourpop ones and Too Faced Melted Mattes are my ultimate, ultimate faves. Well, this is really nice as well. This is Kylie Jenner Love Bite. This is a bit of a darker nude. And then we've obviously got Candy K, which was an absolute classic. And then I've got the cute lip gloss. Then down here, I have all of my MAC lipsticks. So I have two sample lipsticks of the Nicki Minaj collection because MAC were actually nice enough to gift these to me. So these are actually samples but they're really really pretty nudey colours they're literally just right up my street this one is super super pretty as well this is a bit more of a nudey pink colour but love the packaging of these like how gorgeous are they then we have all of my MAC lipsticks so I have the Cinderella one down here which Lewis actually got me and what an absolute babe then I've got this uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Burnt Spice and this is again one of my most worn nudes. I love this so much. And then we've obviously got all of my MAC lipsticks here. I have I think 12, 5, 10. I think I've got 12 or maybe I've counted that wrong. I don't know that's really going to annoy me. And I've just got a mixture of shades here. I've got Velvet Teddy, I've got Angel, I've got Rebel. God knows what this shade is. This is shade Hug Me. This is a really nice nude, I remember that, and it's actually very used. I literally don't really wear my MAC lipstick as much as I probably should. These are really good formulas, but, and they deserved their own case. Is that Velvet Teddy? That's Velvet Teddy. Do you remember when the hype for Velvet Teddy, literally everybody was going mad, they were like, it's Kylie Jenner's colour, everybody has to be wearing it. 
Cactus Angel. This is a blankety. Oh, I remember this used to be one of my favourites as well. But yeah, so I have quite a few MAC lipsticks. I think I've got 15 in total now, minus the this one. So that's really nice. But yeah, that is basically all of my lipsticks. This is the drawer that you guys never really get to see, but this is where I keep all of my face masks, my skincare, beauty blenders, everything like that. First of all, I've got a bunch of eyelashes. I've got some Benefit ones. I've got Red Cherry. I've got, I did have House of Lashes, but I've used them up. And then basically I need to actually get some new eyelashes because love the Benefit ones, but I need some more House of Lashes ones. But have I got two pairs in there? Oh no, no, but yeah, love eyelashes. Then we've got some Glam Glow products. I've got the Glam Glow Power Rangers. I've got some pore strips. I love pore strips and T-Zone ones are the best. So just have two boxes of those. Then I've got a EOS lip balm and strawberry sorbet and the Mario Badescu drying lotion. If you have a spot, just put some of this on it. You can get it from Urban Outfitters or Beauty Bay and it literally dries up overnight. It's incredible. Then I've got another Glam Glow face mask. This is the orange one. It's just a no, this is the Flash Mud, which is really good. I've got some Beauty Blender cleaning stuff. Then down here, Beauty Blender actually gifted me a ton of them. So I've got like loads and loads of spare ones. I've got these two down here. I've got a pink one, a green one, a grey one. Then right at the back here, I've got a ton of face masks. So as you guys can probably see, that's a uh, face tanning mask, but I love sheet masks. So I've got loads from Holler and Glow. I've got Glam Glow ones. I've got a face mask subscription box, which comes to me. So I've got loads of gold ones. And then that's pretty much it. Other than back here, I have the L'Oreal clay ones, which are really good as well. But this is basically just a draw of pampering for me stuff I use on to be honest an everyday basis I just kind of go to this drawer grab things out whenever I need it and it's a really handy drawer to have and then finally in here I just have a few random bits so I've got some hair bursts shampoo and conditioner and my vitamins which I like to take then I've got a new skincare range which was sent to me which I'm going to try I've got my tanning stuff I never use this I always use this one there's barely any in it actually this is the scent tropez it says it's not scent tropez it's scent trope as I got told to say uh tan got as well as hungry hands we've got some hand cream from coconut island got the evian water mist spray which you can spray on your face it just really gives you like a burst of refreshment i've got one of my favorite moisturizers which is the clean and clear dual action because i have quite a few blemishes so that's really good got some bath and body works marshmallow pumpkin latte spray then we've got some more skincare like micellar water and stuff then at the back here i just have some essentials i've got some face wipes which have actually ran out i've got some body tape from ilaw because you never know when you're going to need body tape then i've got another one of my favorite moisturizers got some sun cream then i've got a load of mini benefit products back there and then i just have some perfumes i've got zoella's sweet inspiration one and then i've got one more back here as well and this is the bake my day these two are amazing scents i love them now i've messed up my drawer a little bit that is basically everything i have in there again just another essentials drawer and that's pretty much it in my other drawer i just keep my hair stuff and my pajamas so that is basically everything that i keep in my alex drawers and that ends my makeup collection so that is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you didn't remember to give it a huge thumbs up let's see if we can smash 12 thousand likes because i know there's 12,000 of you out there watching this so go down there and hit the thumbs up but yeah other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you on a sunday at 10 a.m for a brand new video and on my vlogging channel every single day at 6 p.m bye